Hey, what's up everyone? On this episode of Roscoe's Reef, we're going to show some corals that have shown uh, a lot of growth in the last week or so. And also, we got a special announcement for an upcoming series that is going to be coming up this week. So stay tuned. <music> Hey, what's up everyone? On this episode of Roscoe's Reef, we're going to be focusing on, as I said in the opening, particular corals within my tank that have shown a lot of growth within the last week or so. So, uh, it's gonna be close-ups on them, it's not gonna be a whole reef update, just a short video basically showing um, what these corals are doing and how they're developing in the tank and in the system so far. Also along with that I just want to bring something uh, to your attention and that is coming up this week is going to be a, a premiere episode of a series that we've developed uh, with the New Jersey Reef Club. It's called Tanks of the New Jersey Reef Club and it's going to be focusing on members tanks um, throughout the state of New Jersey and an in-depth look at how they run their systems. Now it's going to be covering the gamut. You're going to have people that are going to be in the hobby that may be brand new or a couple of months within the hobby and people that have been in the hobby for years and years and years. It's all focused on basically how they run their systems, how the coral thrives and the fish thrive in that system using whatever methodology they use, whether it be uh, all natural or bio pellets or whatever have you. Uh, what's going to happen is we're going to have maybe one or two of these tanks a month uh, depending on how long the, the videos run. Uh, we're going to open up basically with um, the tank itself, the makeup of the tank, what livestock is in the tank, how they set it up, and the little background on the tank. And also the lighting above the tank um, and primarily focusing on an introduction to that particular person's system. Um, then most likely the next episode will be filtration how they go about it, what kind of filtration do they run. Is it a nano tank with a hang on the back refugium or is it a big two, three hundred gallon tank with a separate fish room where everything is located in a different room of the, ta of, uh, the house. So I hope you hang in for that and, and keep an eye out for that. Uh, if you are a new person that just came to the channel, hit the subscribe button and hit the bell so you get an uh, alert when that episode comes out so you can keep your eye out for it. If uh, you're returning to the channel and you are a subscriber, hit the bell and make sure you get the uh, notification when that episode comes out. So uh, with that said, let's go to the tank and show you the corals. Okay, so the first coral that we're going to take a look at on this episode is going to be the rainbow trachea I picked up from Kobe Corals. Um, I noticed in the about a week ago when I fed this coral, it has two individual mouths that it feeds from and it's probably about the size of the bottom of a mayonnaise jar. Uh, it's, it's quite broad across and it's taken off in the tank and it likes what it's, where it is and the, and the flow it's getting. Uh, the second coral, believe it or not, is the fungia plate that has turned a deeper green with different shades of green and has really expanded somewhat in the tank. This area of the tank up here, uh, which is the overflow, you can see the purple digi's really taken off. And the Hollywood Stunner Chalices are really growing immensely. One surprise is the red digi that um, work has been, I've been working really hard over the last couple weeks, so I really haven't been able to pay attention to this part of the, of the return. And you can see it's spreading and it has encrusted on the return itself and has really blown up in the tank. So that's really a, a good sign because I, I didn't want the purple digi uh, dominating this um, tower. I wanted to get some more color and the red digi's doing that. Now another coral that's really doing well is the, uh, the red Monte Cap. 
you can see how it's spreading up towards the surface of the water. It's really gotten big and it's really started to encrust on this rock. Um, so I'm really, really proud because I want this to be a showpiece in the tank and one of the centerpieces. The red setosa coral is really doing well and you can see how more or less all the branches are starting to blend into one. It started out as four individual frags and they've all come together to form this cluster and uh, the polyps are really extending well. Now the green encrusting Monty is doing the same as the Monty cap. You can see in areas uh, right there in the back and also underneath it, um, it's really encrusting onto the rock and it's taking over that whole corner. So the growth again from this has been stunning over the last two weeks. Um, the explanation could be that I did a very big water change on it that I usually don't do. I replaced about 35 gallons of water in this tank at one time, so um, there may be something into the fact that a larger water change uh, does better for my tank than, say, uh, 10 gallons every other week. Now here we have the Symphelia Wilsoni uh, that I got from Billy Pipes, and as you can see, the colors on this thing is stunning. Uh, this too is becoming a showpiece in the tank along with the trachea, but um, more so because of the coloration of this coral and um, the trachea, which is right next door to it, uh, is more of a subtle rainbow than um, the Symphelia. But again, this is becoming a very stunning piece of the tank and the growth rate over the last two weeks has been outstanding. Now the last coral that we're going to deal with is the uh, Jason Fox Barney Coral. In talking with Jason Fox um, and realizing that this coral was not getting enough light, I moved it up to the top of my rock work and since that time the fluorescence has started to fade. More purple is coming back and it's starting to extend more and more and um, growing into a real nice colony. Uh, the the polyp extension is really, really great on this coral and it does feed uh, whenever I put the reefroids in the tank. So I'm really hopeful that this coral will inhabit this whole top section of the tank and become a really huge colony. So there you have it. Um, basically this has been a few of the corals that are in the tank that are thriving and, and really doing well at the moment. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to drop a comment down below. and. Uh, There'll be another update coming on later in the week. And don't forget the new series that's coming out that I spoke about at the beginning of this video. So as always, uh, this is Scott, and I will see you soon around the reef tank. Thank you for watching this episode of Roscoe's Reef with Scott. As always, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe.